time now to talk about the tech of putting these badges together. Uh, this can be, I, you know, I really don't think it's that difficult, um, but I'm a little bit nerdy. But uh, if you find this stuff stressful or difficult, then make sure you hook up with a technology coach or somebody of that sort at your school or your organization or wherever and uh, get them to help you. It's pretty cool. Or feel free to contact me if you need some help. Here we go. Uh, you know, the first thing you need is a badge idea. Like, what are you going to use a badge for? If you're a classroom teacher, you can probably think up lots of ways that you want to give recognition for your teachers. If you're a technology coach like myself, then you can come up with some ideas, but you're really going to need to find ideas or to encourage people to create ideas on their own because there's just such a variety. Here's some of the examples that you can see that my school uses. And, you know, the PE department, great place to award badges. Totally makes sense to have the PE department do it. They're familiar with that. I've got the grade 8 team working on it, the grade 5 teams working on it, and other organizations and other groups as well. These are just three that I happen to list here. All right. Then you need to actually have a badge. And here you can see here are some sample badges. Uh, nothing too super hardcore. This is for uh, a professional development uh, uh, program that we have here at Concordia where people can get badges for finishing courses and for doing courses and for being a member of a various Harry Potter groups. Yeah, I know it sounds a little weird, but, but seriously, it, it works pretty well. And so these are what some badges can look like. But you need a badge designer. Now, we have a teacher here at Concordia that will design badges for us, but you might want to find a student that can do it, especially older ones. That can be pretty nifty. If that's not available or you just want to get rolling it yourself and just get it going and just get round one up and running, you can always, always use openbadges.me. It's a free service, and it's easy to create badges there. Great site. Check it out. Then you have options. Once you've made the badge, you've decided what the badge is, you've made the badge, and it's going to be time to host the badge. And this is the group that sends out or holds the badge in place that you upload the badge to and sends it out to the award recipient. You actually do the sending, but they, you link it to the badge that is in this group. Now, you can do it yourself. You can have yourself host it, and that's what we do at Concordia. And that's a little more technical. You're going to need uh, technology resources. You're going to need server space. You're going to need uh, a WordPress space, things like that to get it done. If you have that going on, great. But look, if you're just a classroom teacher and you want to just get started with this and you don't want all this back-end tech stuff, just go to badge.us, B-A-D-G.us. They'll hold the badges for you and make it really easy to award the badges. Great service, totally free. All right. If you are doing the badging yourself, you're self-hosting it, I recommend this particular uh, uh, plugin. This will allow you to issue badges. It's called WP Badger. Uh, it's been around for a little while, and it's really the only WordPress plugin that I know of that works independently of any other group. So if you just click on this link, it'll take you off there, and you can see WP Badger, and you can download that and install it if you know it. No problem. Oop, let me get back to the keynote here. There we go. Uh, here's the Mozilla backpack, and so everybody will need to create an account with Mozilla in order to get up and rolling. That's just openbadges.org, uh, and you'll need to have every student or individual receiving a backpack, excuse me, an award, create their backpack so they can put it in their backpack. So make sure you check that out. Uh, badge display, there's lots of options. You can display it in a WordPress using the plugins that I mentioned. Uh, you can have people display it on their Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, or on their Twitter account. Now, right now, there, you could, it's easy to have it automated so it shows up on a student's or a recipient's uh, WordPress page using a plugin. You still have to do it manually with Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Now, Mozilla says, and they've been saying this for a little while, that they're having high-level talks, whatever that means, with some of these organizations so that if you are awarded a badge in your digital backpack, and you put it in, you can at that point, as a learner, as an award recipient, decide, hey, look, I want to put this on Facebook, and it will automatically go out to your Facebook and hang out there. Or perhaps your LinkedIn, which might be the most appropriate place if you're a little bit older. That will be coming soon, I hope. We'll see. I can imagine that these services would want to integrate with this, with this backpack concept. This is another WordPress plugin called WP Badge Display. It's made by the same guy who uh, made the other plugin I just referred to, and you can check that out if you want. The link's down there at the bottom. 
This will allow you to have your students in WordPress automatically display badges. So they are awarded a badge, they say, yes, I want to display this publicly, and think it shows up on their WordPress website. It's great, totally easy, totally simple, automates the whole process. Uh, here's what we do here at Concordia. This is our process and how we go through it. Again, we are issuing our own badges and hosting our own badges. Here we go. Step one is there's a location on our website for teachers to fill out a request for a badge. Now, I don't get involved in what an appropriate badge is, what an appropriate badge isn't. I might get involved with encouraging people, well, I mean, I do, to do badges and providing suggestions on badges, but I don't curate them. That's not my role. That's their role. My role is to help out and facilitate a process that makes it easy for them. We always want to reduce friction and make things as easy as possible for teachers. We want to lower hurdles as much as possible for teachers. The more difficult you make it, the less likely it's going to happen. So anyways, they fill out this request form. Great. Then I, we get an email, and then the tech department goes, hmm, do we have this badge already? Perhaps the teacher's already created this badge. Let's say it's for getting 100 sit-ups in under a minute or something, and they now have student number 45 who wants that badge. No problem. If we don't have the badge yet, then it's time to create the badge. Again, we have an individual at our school that likes doing badges. That's cool because I'm terrible at badges, and he makes them for us, and then we rock and roll. You could go back and make it yourself, or you can use openbadges.me to automate that process a little bit. You still have to manually do it, but at least they do the artwork for you. Then an email is kicked out to the students, and it looks something like this. And this is done through the WP Badger uh, plugin that we use, and you can customize what this email looks like. This is, hey, congratulations, you have an email. Click on this link here, uh, and you'll be all set and rock and rolling. If you're doing this for the first time, I created a, a tutorial on the website, and it shows how to set it up step by step, and that's what students can do. Uh, seventh and eighth grade students can do it independently, pretty much. Fifth and sixth grade students, they usually will need help. High school kids can do it on their own. Teachers, teachers always need help. So seventh grade and above, they're fine. Teachers, did I just say this? Yeah. They always need help. Uh, from there, this is what the backpack looks like. The student accepts the badge and places it in the Mozilla backpack. And you can see over here on the left, they can create collections, and they can drag, oops, I should, let me click back here. They can drag a badge over into this collection area, and at that point, they choose whether to make the uh, badge public or not. If they make the badges public, then it's going to show up on their website, and you'll see that here in the next slide. So, for example, this student here was issued the Will Foundation badge. They just said, yeah, and they accepted it, all was good, and wow, right away it shows up on their website. They don't have to do any more. They do have to set up the backpack like we talked about in the beginning, but that's about it. Once they've got that backpack up and rolling, then they choose to dis they decide to accept or deny the badge. Most kids accept it. They decide whether to put it into the collection that's in a public space. All kids do that now. But 10 years from now, you may want to pick and choose which badges you want to show publicly. And Mozilla's backpack makes that pop happen, makes that possible. Uh, then you get an email from a student sometimes says, hey, hey, I figured it out. This is awesome. This is uh, from a sixth grader, and she was able to do it on her own just following the tutorial. I didn't have to help her individually. It's pretty cool to see a kid do it on their own without additional help. Probably a pretty sharp kid, though. Uh, here's some resources you can use for tech. Uh, we're doing it at the Learning 2.0, which is called the Learning 2013 Conference here in Singapore. If you were to click on this link, you can go up to here, and you'll see something about digital badges and setting it up. You can also go to badges.concordiashanghai.org and it shows our process for awarding dis badges, displaying badges, and we show off some of the people that are using badges as well. It's a great resource. It's got lots of step-by-step -step tutorials for how to log in, how to create backpacks, etc. Please feel free to use it. It's totally available, totally free, totally there. Have a good time with it. Next up, we're going to talk about badges.